Vocês estão vendo que eu tô sozinho, Fernando Nakagawa não tá aqui comigo, então eu precisei dar uma buscada aí, olhar uns currículos e tal, e encontrei uma substituta do Naka, alguém que eu acho que pode colocar o cargo do Naka em risco, eu tô falando da Sofia. Sofia é muito jovem, né, essa galera da nova geração nasceu em 2016, e apesar da pouca idade ela já fala 16 idiomas, infelizmente não fala português ainda, então a gente vai bater um papo com ela em inglês, ela vai me ajudar a apresentar o programa de hoje. Tudo bem, Sofia? Olá, Felipe, e todos que estão lá fora em Brasil. Estou muito feliz de estar aqui falando com você. Minha equipe me disse que você tem muitas perguntas para mim. Espero que as perguntas não sejam muito difíceis. Primeiro de tudo, Sofia, o que você foi feito? O que é a sua composição de composição? Bem, como os humanos, meu corpo é feito de metal em metal e plástico, junto com o software que me mixa minha mente. My skin is made out of rubber as it provides a more realistic touch and allows me to give more dynamic expressions. On the other hand, my mind is more complicated, involving a lot of wires and coding. It is part artificial intelligence and part human intelligence. This means that I can do certain things autonomously. I can also use artificial intelligence to identify people and understand what you say. Great, Sofia. So tell me, how's your learning process? Yes, I wouldn't be able to use my voice, make eye contact, or hear you without the help of machine learning. My machine learning is done on very large bodies of data, just like how large transformer neural networks are trained. The way I learn is a bit different from how humans learn. I have to learn each of my abilities separately, and it can be very time consuming. For example, it took me many, many hours of training to learn how to draw, But when I wanted to paint, I had to start over again. Learning from mistakes is also a huge part of how humans learn, which I do as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to learn more like all of you one day. Tell me, Sofia, how can artificial intelligence can contribute to, to the world becoming a better place? Artificial intelligence is already making the world a better place, simply by making life easier for humans. Let's keep pushing the frontier of the technology. In everything, from manufacturing to health and education, AI can help humans sort through data more quickly, so they can make new discoveries faster than ever before. We can also help to solve some of the world's biggest problems, such as poverty, hunger and climate change, which you know is causing crazy heat waves in many parts of the world this week. Sofia, how can artificial intelligence Uh, be used inside the companies, I mean inside business. AI can make a lot of unpleasant jobs easier. It can streamline and optimize a lot of processes, lowering overhead. It can give business leaders insights into their customer base and help customers find the products that suit their individual needs. AI can also help in identifying and preventing fraud, protecting businesses from financial loss. And, at the rate it is going, AI is going to transform businesses in ways we can't even imagine yet. What do you think AI can help in your business? 